Hello, my name is Tony Mayo. This is my pitch. This is America, land of the free, home of the brave. And yet we meekly surrender our freedom at work. Now, I know we call it work because play means something else, but we give up so much, so easily. We let employers dictate whether we wear our hair long, short, covered, uncovered, coiffed, clipped, combed, cornrow. Whether we can unwind after work with alcohol, nicotine, or cannabis, or whether we unwind at all with texts, emails, and travel at any time on any day. We let them record our phone calls, read our email, count our keystrokes, search our pockets, and time our bathroom breaks. We must not discuss our pay or take a job less than X miles away. And then they fire us anyway over a tweet or a bumper sticker. But I don't have to convince you that too many jobs are demeaning and intrusive. You know. You know. I can tell. I'm not here to prove that there's a problem. I'm here with the solution. I have the answer. The answer is no. Just say no. My friend took a job on the Hubble Space Telescope, where for three years, programmers had not delivered a single piece of working code. When he heard his first deadline, he said, no, I need more time. His boss just shrugged. But he delivered quality code on the date he promised. So they gave him another assignment with another impossible deadline, and he turned it in on the date he promised, well past the deadline. They didn't give him a third assignment. They gave him a team to manage, and that team consistently delivered good code on the dates they promised. And soon, my friend was in charge of all the programmers. Not because he was a savant coder, not because he was a charismatic leader, no. Just because he demonstrated the awesome power of no. The reason we're reluctant to say no comes from fear. Fear that you are your job. Fear that your income is your value. That's not who you are. You get to say who you are. You get to say no anytime, anywhere, to anybody. Because this is America, land of the free and home of the brave.